Yes, sir. What is happening, boys? Today, fucking fat leg day again because you have to train legs every single day of the fucking week. At the moment, I am hyped as absolute fucking shit. Just sat here for like two fucking hours just watching like motivational, like fucking like Eric Bugenhagen fucking lifts and like just fucking getting fucking hyped, bro. That's what it's about. But I go slam some pre workout with Monster. I'm very, very low on pre workout, which is not fucking good at all. I think I have like like a scoop of crack, but I'm saving that because like this week I want to go and fucking destroy deadlifts. I want to get 290 for three because I failed it last week. So I want to like take an ungodly amount of pre workout, which in my case is like two cans of Monster, six scoops of pre workout, various different fucking stimulants in the pre workouts, various different illegal substances in the pre workouts because that's how you have to do it. I woke up feeling like absolute shit, did not want to go to the gym, didn't want to train because of my fucking pussy. But I said, you know what, today I'm going to fucking do legs and I'm going to destroy legs because I'm built different. I'm going to slap on some like Tom Platt's like speech while I drive to the gym and just scream at the top of my lungs the entire way to the gym to get the test levels absolutely boosted for when I walk through the doors of the gym and it... It's like fucking Moses in the sea. Like the door's gonna pull open for me when I walk in. I'm gonna look like a Greek god. I'm gonna go to the gym now. I'll see you there. I've got the fucking shoes! I've got the three workers! I can do a fucking leg, bro! The fucking arms, bro!
just got out of the gym and I had the most mid workout of my fucking life. Took so much pre workout the entire time. I was about to be fucking uh, violently sick everywhere. Didn't enjoy it in the slightest. Didn't really get much of a pump. And it wasn't until like I'm leaving the gym that I start to feel the pre workout sort of hit. So now I'm like driving home, wired off my face. No, no pump. Pretty mid workout. Sad times, but shit happens. We move on. Tomorrow is a push day. Gonna absolutely smash tomorrow's push day. And then Monday, going for that heavy, heavy deadlift, which you'll be seeing in this video. I want to get 290 for three. If not, 3 under for 3, which is an extreme push. But I'll definitely get 3 under for 3 within the coming weeks. If not, well then I'm going to retire completely, shave my head, move to Cuba and cry myself to sleep every night because I'm just not built different if that doesn't happen. But for now, I'm going to go home, eat up, probably edit this video actually while I have uh, spare time. And then cry about how bad my session was, even though I got hyped before it, I was feeling good before it. Thought I was gonna absolutely kill it today, but I didn't, sadly. But you know what? We move on, boys. We move on strong. <laughs> Currently, sore as absolute shit from that leg day, but it doesn't matter because today, 290 falls for three reps. If I don't get 290 right now for three reps, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep for the next four fucking years, bro. I have wanted this so bad for the past like week. <laughs> I just like this, this decided like I want to go for like um, 290 for three, so like that's what I'm going for. Then next week I want to go for like 290 for or 300 for three. That's like the dream. Three 290 for three today. 300 for three next week. 320 for fucking three next month. 350 for three next year. Or not even next year, bro. Two months. I'm on my grind. Just gonna bulk up. As long as I eat the surplus, I'll get there easy. I'll get there in like a week and a half. As long as I take enough pre-workout as well, I'll get there in a week and a half. Because I have no pre-workout at the moment, I'm gonna blast up tempo as heavy as I can to make up for the fact that I have no pre-workout. Well, like I have a tiny bit of crack left, but it's not gonna survive because I need like at least like 1,300 milligrams actually feel so hard. But I'm not gonna sit here and talk for too much because I wanna just zone completely out and destroy 290. So I will, uh, next time you see me talk will be after I fucking pull 290.
happening? Currently cracked off my head on pre-workout. It is 11 p.m. Went to the gym at 7.30. Talk, I don't even know how much pre-workout I talk. I'm gonna play, play a clip, uh, I can't even speak English anymore. I'm gonna play a clip of what I actually did. I poured like three different pre-workouts in the tub, which is probably roughly around, like I don't even know, like I, there's no point in even guessing how much milligrams of caffeine it was. Cooking fucking meth, bro. I am driving home, cracked the fuck off pre workout. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight. Like, I'm gonna be up all night. I might just like edit this video all night, to be honest with you, because I just like, there's no chance of me sleeping. I got the 290 for three which was the goal. It was worth the almost heart attack to get the uh, 290 for three reps, but pretty disappointed it's not 300. It's gonna be 300 soon though, that is the goal. 300 for three. Overall, pretty happy with how the day went. Delif moved pretty snappy. Felt like it felt pretty easy in my hands. Last week, uh, I slipped out of my hand because of grip. This week, I set up my hook grip really, really nice, so it just let us sat perfectly but my training the past like few weeks has been going absolutely perfect i have trained i've it's, i've completely changed the way i trained instead of doing like a sort of like power building like rp6 rp7 rp8 workout type of thing i am literally doing to like pretty much everything's to failure almost not exactly to failure i'm not really working in uh, rpe skills anymore it's pretty stupid i wouldn't recommend anyone do it because the chance of injury is pretty high and like I'm not sure why I'm actually doing it. It's just like it builds such a fucking mindset. When you're going every lift to failure pretty much, the state of mind you get when you come out of the gym, you feel fucking invincible. Sometimes you just have to change up your training to the point where it's like hard is absolute shit, everything's the failure. I'm doing this just to like sort of do something out of like the norm, out of the blue. It's more from mental gains. That's all I care about at the minute. I don't even care if I get injured. I don't care if I don't make gains. I don't care about anything apart from the mental fucking aspect of my training at the moment. If you're training the balls to the wall, the mindset you get out of that, you feel like you can literally become fucking like a god among men. Especially once you walk out of the gym, after a hard training session, where you put in the work, you put all your energy into the session, you come out, you're covered in sweat, you're aching, your muscles are sore, but like mentally you know you did so fucking much, even if like physically, it's not beneficial for gains. Mentally, it is like your the mental gains is off the fucking charts. That is why I'm doing it. Before my deadlift, I sat and um, listened to like a Greg Plitt motivational speech for like 20 minutes. Fucking rest in peace, his soul. If you don't know who he is, go watch him right now because he is like he's like the David Goggins version of like the fitness industry. His legacy lives on. Put in the work, shift some weight, make some gains, make some mental gains. That's all I have to say. Happy with how the day went. On a pre-workout ramble at the moment. I'm not sure how I'm gonna sleep tonight, but it doesn't even matter. But anyway, good workout. Absolutely killed it today. Smash my delif, smash my accessories. Look like a fucking god in the posing video. That's all that matters in life. The posing, the workout, everything else is side quests. That is everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you kill your workout today. If you're working out, if you're not working out, too bad, go work out. Fuck you.